am 24 years old and I hail from Udaipur, Rajasthan. Uh, I am an entrepreneur and an investor. I graduated from IIT Bombay uh, in a, with a BTEC in Computer Science and Engineering. Uh, and I finished it a semester early. And I think most of you uh, know me from my JE. Uh, so I was the all India Rank 1 in JE 2017. Uh, in which I scored 360 out of 360 marks in the JEE main exam, which has never been done till date. So today I am going to walk you through my entire journey, uh, starting from my childhood to becoming a student, to excelling in academics, to going to a place as prestigious as, as IIT Bombay, deciding to becoming an entrepreneur, and everything that I do uh, today. Okay. So uh, it all starts from uh, when I was very young. Uh, so I'm from a very uh, humble background, a typical lower middle class family. Uh, my dad is from a very small village and he was one of the first people in his uh, village to get educated. Uh, I'm talking about the 1970s and 80s, right? So uh, he didn't have the financial means to study as well as he wanted to, but he still did really well. And he made a promise to himself that me and my brother, I have a brother, elder brother as well, he's a doctor and he's also doing really well in his life. So he decided that he will never let education be a problem for either of us. Okay, so anything that we wanted related to our studies, be it any book, be it any any kind of help, he always made sure that we got it. Uh, so there was a strong emphasis on education and our studies since we were very young. Uh, and I had a very typical childhood like you know, playing sports and cartoons and all that. But I had a little bit of inclination for studies. Okay, I like to study a lot. And uh, I was the school topper. Like in my school, I used to get good ranks. And uh, But I, I I never thought that I would one day, you know, uh, become one of the toppers of the country in an exam. So how did that come about? So that happened mostly in class 9, uh, which is a story which is very uh, important to me. And I'll share it to you. So in class 9, there was this examination called IJSO. Uh, it's an examination which is uh, conducted at an international level. And there are six students are selected from India to represent India. It's like the Olympics, but for studies, okay, for science. Uh, so this exam is very difficult because they ask you questions of class 11th and 12th in class 9. And I was a school topper, but I was not that smart that, okay, I, I know things of 11th and 12th. So I uh, stole some books from my brother of his class. He is four years older to, elder to me. So I stole some of his books and started studying them. Uh, I didn't understand most of it, but I still pushed myself. Okay, I still uh, give give it my all. I used to sit for ten hours, twelve hours with those books of higher classes. Sometimes I didn't understand them. Sometimes I did. But slowly I started to understand most of it. I cleared that exam. Uh, not only did I clear the first stage, I also cleared the second stage of that exam and I was selected in the top 30 of the country. So why do I consider this to be one of the most important times of my life? Like it was literally class 9, right? It's because that was when I realized that with hard work, with consistency, you can achieve anything you want. One year back in class 8, I was just someone who was doing well in a school level, okay? And I'm sure a lot of you are bright students, you used to be a topper in your class 8 as well. But in that one year, I transformed from someone who was just known in his school to someone who was competing at the national level. So not only did that uh, exam fill me with a lot of confidence, it also humbled me because I went to the selection camp where those six students uh, would be selected. I did not get selected in the Indian team, but competing with those 30, top 30 students in the country from a place like Udaipur. Uh, like, uh, I had never been outside of Udaipur ever and that camp was in Mumbai. So there I competed with some of the brightest kids who later on went on to be my batchmates. Some of them uh, later became my batchmates in IIT Bombay as well. So that humbled me as well that there's a lot that I can do. So then life happened. Uh, I studied a bit more in class 10 and then my J prep uh, started. And I had a lot of expectations on my shoulder because, you know, uh, I was doing well since I was younger. Uh, so. Uh, there's nothing very interesting about the JK, it was just studying. I'm sure a lot of you who are engineers, uh, maybe some of you even went to Kota and all. I studied from my hometown only. Uh, so then my J date came and uh, at that time, I was a little bit distracted. Okay, In my class 12, I was a bit burned out because you know I had been studying so hard for such a long time. 
so in the like the last one or two months before my jee i was like hey, you know what uh, who cares I, i didn't study much and i was like i'm not sure if i'm going to do as well as is expected of me so uh, so at that time the paper used to be on 360 marks and i was supposed to score at least 330 340 something like this uh, but i was not even confident if i'll score something like 300 okay uh, and then i called my teacher one day before the exam and i said that sir you all expect that i will score some awesome score but i'm not even sure that i'll score 300 marks okay uh, because in the last one or two months i have not studied much so then he was like he told me you are someone who has done a lot you have studied very hard and he gave me an example that if someone who is as great as sachin tendulkar like if sachin doesn't practice in the nets for one or two matches he can still score a century so you are someone who has the potential just give it your best and uh, you know do your best in the exam so that gave me a lot of motivation then i went to the exam center and i started attempting the paper i was going very slow because uh, i didn't want to make any mistakes right so half of the time was over and i had solved only 30 questions out of 90 and then i started panicking you know that you are supposed to score 80 90% and you have done only one third of the paper and half the time is over so what are you doing man uh, so then i just put down my pen and i closed my eyes and i remember that moment very vividly and i just recalled everything that i have done i recalled that class 9th exam that uh, at some point i was not even competing at this level that i would expect 80 90% from as hard as the joint exams right so i recall that you know what you have come so far you cannot let yourself slow down right now so i remember i had my eyes closed for an entire minute and then i opened it and maybe some one hour 25 minutes was left and i had 60 questions in front of me which i had to do uh, so then i just went full on into the paper and i just started solving it as fast as i could i didn't get any second thoughts nothing i was just focused on questions and i was just solving it as much as i could then the bell rang and i was on the last question and just before my like the person who was sitting in front of me their sheet was being collected and i had solved that last question as well so i was a bit happy because i had solved all the questions and my dad came to pick me up uh, my dad has a very interesting role in my life because uh, you know he always used to drop me and pick me up from my coaching school and all so he was very connected to my studies so he asked me that how did your paper go i said i will score 300 plus and i can even score 360 but i said it as a joke because i had attempted every question so then i came back to home and the answer keys and all came and i was checking and then i couldn't believe that all the questions that i had attempted were right so i checked it again and then i saw that okay you have solved all the questions right and this was mind boggling because uh, no one ever had scored full marks in the history of the joint tests this is being conducted since like 1960s so in the last 50 60 years nobody had did then that right so you my teachers are like albert why are you joking with us why are you playing with us so i sent them my own sheet as well and then they checked it and they were like yeah you are scoring that score and then uh, the result it came and that was the day which literally changed my life because uh, ever since i was a kid i used to see these posters of people uh, you know who are topping some exam or doing something great in their life and i always wanted to be there so i was now there i was on national tv and on newspapers and all and i got some calls from different ministers and some very important people they were congratulating me uh, for getting the first rank in the exam with full score uh, so i basically went from a nobody who nobody knew at the, me at that time to basically someone who was all over social media everyone knew me on that particular day and uh, then my other exam happened um, my je advanced and bits and all and i did well in those as well and then uh, i had a lot of uh, free time because my college was yet to start okay so i got admission in computer science at iit bombay and i had a lot of time uh, you know there's a time, little bit of time before your college starts right so i thought that uh, there were a lot of people who were messaging me on my social media till now i was not on social media but now i had started a facebook page and, and i was getting a lot of dms that say kalpit uh, how did you study this how which books did you study something like that so i thought that why should i not start documenting this stuff so i created a facebook page and i started writing there uh, how i studied for my exams so it started growing and this was a time when creating some content was not even a thing uh, in, in india right 
so my facebook and all those pages started to grow uh, and i was doing this very subconsciously i was just trying to help people out and then uh, i got admitted into iit bombay and that was some really fun time uh, the first semester i did a lot of activities uh, and on the side i was also creating content on social media related to study related to education and all uh, and i also started a youtube channel which quickly grew to around 1 lakh subs so around second year i had a following of around 2 3 lakh people online which were all related to studies and at the same time i was starting to realize that everyone in iit bombay was pursuing yet another rat race right before uh, they had a rat race of j now there is a rat race of uh, cgpa internship placements pors and i'm not saying that's bad uh, it's great if you want to do that but i always want to do something of my own uh, even if you look up my interviews of j you will see that i said that i wanted to start my own thing so i was like you know what i want to start my own thing and i started focusing more on my uh, education thing which i was doing so then i thought of formalizing it a bit and i started my first business which was academyboost.com so basically i started to structure everything that i was doing i created a website there i started to blog about everything and create basically a more structured format of everything that i was already doing okay so the traffic on that site kept on growing and in around my third year i launched a paid product so i launched a crash course for j uh, in 20 uh, i think i launched it in 2019 and i was expecting okay it will do some some money i'll make okay great but it crossed all my wildest expectations of the sales figures and uh, it it sold so much that i incorporated a company and i thought that you know what let's focus on this so then in 2019 2020 2021 i focused uh, on it along with my college which was very hard because Uh, IIT B third year is particularly hard in CSE. So I was managing all of these things together. I was hiring uh, teachers for creating more courses. I was creating the app and the website and all. Uh, so there was a lot of things that I was juggling uh, together. Uh, then uh, something happened, which uh, was very unfortunate for everyone, but luckily it was good for us, which was the lockdown. So in the lockdown, the demand for online education went up a lot, and I. to go back to my home and i could uh, and my college became online so that freed up a lot of my time and now i was able to focus more on the um, the academyboost.com uh, site which i was working on so in 2020 2021 we focused on the lot we capitalized on the opportunity and then i realized that you know what uh, i have to look for the next thing as well because this was something which i was doing for uh, like i got an opportunity and i was just pursuing it So then I thought that what more can I do now? So I realized that through Academyboost, I had learned a lot about online marketing, creating a digital funnel, how to create a digital product, how to sell it, uh, how to make it profitable. I had learned a lot of these things. So I then started. I then I thought that why not help people who want to do something like this? So I started a business consulting project as well, where I help clients from US, Europe, uh, mostly it's Western countries because there. There's a very robust ecosystem of online business, so I help them grow their online businesses and start it as well. So now this business itself has become larger than Academyboost itself, and uh, this I started doing it in 2022. Okay, so around that time I graduated graduated as well, and uh, now I work full time on this company. And uh, from now all of these things which we are doing, Academyboost and business consulting, all of these things are profitable. They all generate cash flow. we invest them in other com- uh, other companies uh, real estate and all and we generate more profit from it and that's what our future plan is as a company that we want to create more such profit businesses and invest what we get into other people and uh, not just in terms of money i also like to mentor many startups many uh, young entrepreneurs i'm sure many of you want to start your own companies as well so i even created my own newsletter recently uh, it's at kalpitirwal.com where i mentor future uh, entrepreneurs who want to do something like what we have been doing so there are few things that have helped me a lot and i like to call it success stacking so once you are successful in one thing often you can use that success to build another thing so if you remember the first exam which i talked about the ijs exam because i was studying so much in class 9 that helped me with my j my j rank helped me with acad boost my experience of online business from acad boost helped me with the business consulting and all of this now uh, all of this helps us with our investments and uh, in our newsletter as well so uh, the la- last four thoughts that i'll leave you with 
first you have to be very consistent okay it doesn't matter that you are not very hard working but if you are consistent and you do what you are supposed to do every day you show up every day you will achieve things that you want okay uh, second that you have to have your eyes and your ears open okay you should uh, you should know when to identify trends okay so i caught the youtube trend very early i caught the blogging trend very early i caught the edtech uh, trend also very early so i i believe that i achieved success in these things because i caught these trends a bit earlier than most of the world okay so keep your eyes and ears open and look for trends look for what can be the next big thing and start working on that and last opportunity avoid fear of missing out okay there are lots of opportunities around there is nothing like that okay if someone is doing this i have to do this in iitb everyone was pursuing placements and internships and all but it was my in my mind that you know what i want to work for myself uh, because i value my freedom over everything else so don't you don't have to live by others expectations do what you love and uh, you have a lot of opportunities just look for one and you only have to win once so with this thought i would uh, end this uh, thanks a lot for your